All right, I have a data set here that is the uh, insurance cost, um, and then I have all these predictor variables, such as the person's age, uh, their sex, their BMI, uh, number of children they have, whether or not they're a smoker, and which region they live in. And we want to use these predictor variables to say something about the um, charges for their ins health insurance. Okay, and the source for this data is here, and I'll include this link in the description of this video. All right, so to start this um, you know, analysis that I'm about to do, a good starting point might be uh, creating a scatter uh, plot matrix or, and a um, correlation matrix. Okay, and when I'm gonna do uh, these, starting with the scatter plot matrix, I'm only gonna use my uh, quantitative data. Um, the categorical data, I'll talk about how to introduce those later. But for right now, I'm just going to include age, BMI, the number of children you have, and your health insurance charges. So I'm going to highlight those. Uh, what I did was is I clicked and I pressed, um, see, control. And so that way I could highlight them all together. All right, and then I'm gonna press control C to copy and I'm gonna open up a new sheet down here. Uh, and I'm going to name this sheet uh, scatter plot matrix and correlation matrix. Uh, how about scatter plot uh, and core matrix, okay? And then I'm gonna press control V and now we'll paste uh, the data um, all right, so let me actually rearrange this. I'm gonna right click here, I'm gonna press uh, cut, and then I'm gonna insert it over here, insert cut cells. That's just because I like Y to be over on the uh, left. Age is gonna be X1, so let's label that X1. BMI is gonna be X2, so let's label that X2. And the number of children that they have is gonna be X3, let's label that X3. Okay, and let's make these a little bit bigger so we can see it. All right, so now to construct a scatter plot matrix, I think it helps to start by drawing out uh, what a scatter plot matrix is and what it is that you're going to be constructing. So uh, we'll have x1 up top, and then so we'll have a matrix, we'll have a, um, a plot here, and then we'll have x2, we'll have a plot here, and then we'll have x three, and we'll have a plot here, and then we'll have y, okay? And we'll have another plot here, another plot here, and another plot here. So it looks like I'll have a, for this scatter plot matrix, I'll have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six plots. Six scatter plots, okay? And the idea is, so if x1 is up top here, x1 is going to be the x-axis for each of these these three plots here. So this, this one will have x1 as the x-axis, x1 as the x-axis, x1 as the x-axis. And then here we'll have x2 as the x-axis. x2, x2, okay? And then here we'll have x3 as the x-axis, right? And here, here I'll have x, actually let me use green, so here I'll have x2 as the y-axis, okay? Here I will have x3 as the y-axis for both of these plots. And then here I will have y as the y-axis. So this will be um, y. Let me use a different color. So this is y here. y, y, y. So you see the way you're reading this plot. So you have whatever's on you know on top that's what the x-axis is and whatever's coming in from the side that's what the y-axis is okay so this is our scatter plot matrix once you understand that this is what i need to construct then it's just a matter of creating each of these scatter plots so let's start with this first scatter plot which has x1 as the x-axis and x2 as the y-axis so here and here there's that's the first scatter plot i want to do so let me go to insert 
and then I like my cursor to be somewhere blank at first and then press um, scatter plot and just create a blank scatter plot okay so just do that again really quick so go to insert here is charts press down and then do a blank scatter plot okay right click on that and press select data okay then press add okay for the X series for this first plot it's gonna be X1 now highlight your data now when you're highlighting your data press shift control down to highlight it all okay for Y delete what's there then scroll back up okay press on your data and make sure you're not including the label if you include the label it's going to screw up this plot okay so don't include the label press there press shift control down to highlight it all and then um, we can name this x1 v x2 okay and then press ok and then press ok scroll up to look at the plot okay so there we go that's our first plot Um, now that you have your first plot, it's just a matter of filling this in. So I like to copy this, copy, press control C, okay? And then let's do this next plot right here. So press control V here, okay? And then select your data or just click on your data and then right click and press select data. Okay, and then edit. Okay, make sure you have this clicked and then press edit. And then this one is gonna be X1 versus X3. So let's rename it versus X3. And of course that messed that up. So let me just delete that and write X1 V X3. Okay. Uh, what's in the X is still gonna be X1. So I don't need to change that. I just need to change what's here in the Y. So delete that, what's in the Y. X3 is children, so highlight all that and press okay. And then press okay. Okay, and we're seeing this uh, separation here because uh, remember children is in the y-axis and you can't have half of a child so uh, you are seeing some separation and you're seeing that there's less people with a lot of children like five children looks like it's the max and there's less of them than there are people with zero children that looks like that's a pretty solid line of, of options there okay um, and then you know also in terms of age we see people looks like 18 to well we can figure out what the min and max are but there's no one older than some somewhere around 65 maybe okay um okay the next plot is going to be x1 versus y so take this plot press control c and then go down to an empty spot and press control v okay it's very important you go down to an empty spot uh, if, if you press control V, let me delete that. If you press control C and then control V and you're still in the same plot, it's going to do basically two plots in the same spot. So undo that, control Z. Make sure you're in an empty spot and press control V. Okay. All right, so select the data and then right click and press select data. And then press edit. So this, I want this to be verse Y. Capital Y. Okay, so still have X series is exactly the same. Let's delete what's here in Y and let's scroll to Y and shift control down to highlight all of the Y. Press OK and then press OK. All right, and this is this is pretty interesting here. Um, so we do see, let me just make it bigger for right a second. We do see an increase in your insurance cost as your age increases, right? There's definitely that relationship, but you notice there's some sort of grouping that's occurring here, okay? So uh, there's like a large group right here that seems to follow this linear line, another group that follows this linear line, another group that follows this linear line. So something interesting is definitely happening there. Uh, that might suggest that maybe our categorical variables may be pretty important, okay? So um, right now we're not including categorical variables like whether or not you smoke or uh, what region you live in, but that might be explaining why there's maybe these three different lines there. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next plot, let's do this plot right here, which is X2 versus X3. Okay. I'm going to take this plot here, press control C, and I'm going to press control V. Okay. And I'm going to edit it. 
right click, select data, and then press edit. So I want this one to be x2 versus x3. All right? Delete what's in the x, and we want x2 to be an x. Okay, highlight all your x2 data. Now what's here is already selected is x3. So we're good for the y to be x3 for this plot right here. Okay, press OK and press OK. All right, and what we see uh, once again, so what is, so x2 is now BMI, so we're separating it out by BMI on the x-axis, but we're still seeing that separation for the number of children. Um, looks like there's a pretty good spread in all, you know, regardless of how many children you have, uh, there's a pretty good spread of BMIs. All right, um, and so let's copy this. Control C, uh, select somewhere empty, Control V, and let's edit this one. So, so right click, press select data, and press edit, okay? So now I'm doing this plot right here, which is X2 versus Y, okay, versus Y. So, X2 is still selected there, good. And I just need to delete this right here and select the insurance charges. So press the first one, shift control down to highlight all of it, and then press OK. And then press OK. Okay. So what we're seeing here is kind of interesting. So this is uh, X2, which is your BMI. Uh, not much variability. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Um, when you have a low BMI, it looks like, so a low BMI, low insurance cost, high BMI, high insurance cost. Uh, but there's also some people with high BMI and low insurance costs, right? So remember, Y is the insurance cost and this is the BMI, okay? So um, again, this might be an indicator of some sort of relationship with um, one of the uh, categorical variables. It also could potentially be some sort of interaction effect with uh, age or something like that, okay? So we're gonna have to explore that a little further. All right, let me resize this. And I have one more scatter plot to do, which is X3 versus Y. So I'm gonna take this plot, press Control C, and then press Control V, okay? I'm going to right click, press select data, press edit, and this one is x3 versus y. Okay, so I want to change this to x3, so I'll delete what's there, and I'll press this data here. So click on the cell, then press shift control down to highlight it all, and I think y is being highlighted for y, so that's good. And then just press OK, and then press OK. And uh, so this is X, remember X3 is the number of children. So this is the number of children for on the X axis, okay? And then on the Y axis, uh, your insurance costs. And um, it's kind of interesting that we see a larger spread. If you have less children, you can have, uh, so no children, you know, anywhere to, you know, a lot, lot of insurance costs. And then if you have a lot of children, uh, your insurance cost looks like it's actually less than some of these people, which is kind of counterintuitive, but maybe you're busy doing things with your kids and you're not going to the doctor, I don't know. Um, you know, But we are seeing the, the less spread uh, for insurance cost when you have um, more children, okay? All right, so uh, there you have it. This is our um, scatter plot matrix. It tells us a lot of preliminary information. Uh, and of course, we have a lot more digging to do here, uh, but um, an another thing that I wanted to go ahead and include on this in this uh, this spreadsheet is the correlation matrix, which will tell us actually kind of some similar things to what the scatter plot matrix showed us. Uh, it will just kind of give us some numbers to represent it. So to do that, um, let's go up here to data, uh, data analysis, and then press um, correlation. Press OK. And then I basically, I want to input range is all of this. So go ahead and include the labels. So um, highlight all the data, then press shift control down to, to get it all. Uh, labels were included. Output range, 
no need to use a new worksheet for it. It's a small little matrix. So um, let me just scroll back up here. And so I clicked on output range. I clicked on this place, and then I'm just going to put it right here, basically. And then press OK. All right, so see, it's a small little matrix. Didn't need its own spreadsheet. Um, but tells us some pretty, inform pretty uh, useful information here. Um, looks like the correlation between age and uh, the amount that you're charging on um, for insurance is 0.299. Okay, so that's, that's a, not a strong correlation, but um, looks like there's even less of a correlation between BMI and, and your insurance cost and even less of a correlation between your insurance cost and the number of children you have. Um, the correlations between the uh, predictor variables, so BMI and age, you want these to be low. Uh, if one predictor is predicting another predictor and there's a strong linear correlation there, that's gonna cause a problem called multicollinearity and uh, it's gonna do some pretty weird things uh, basically, you just don't want it. You don't want um, to have strong correlation between your predictor variables. Because otherwise, I mean, why are you including both predictor variables? If one predictor variable basically tells you everything that you need to know about the other predictor variable, then, you know, why are you including both of them? Okay? So uh, you want low correlations between predictor variables, which, yeah, we're seeing that here. Okay? Um, of course, the correlation is always one, as uh, 100% between itself, right? All right, so yeah, we have a lot more digging to do, a lot more to do uh, to analyze this data set. This is just a preliminary, just kind of getting started by uh, looking at your data, okay?